Yeshayahu, Isaiah 1. The vision of Yeshayahu, the son of Amos, when he saw concerning Yahuda and Yerushalayim in the days of Uziyahu, Yotham, Echaz, and Yahiz Kiyahu, kings of Yahuda. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for Yahuwah has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Yashadael does not know. My people do not consider. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken at Yahuwah, they have provoked the Holy One of Yashadael unto anger, they are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate, as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Sion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except Yahuwah Sevaot had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Chidam, and we should have been like unto Amorah. Hear the word of Yahuwah, Ye rulers of Chedam, give ear unto the Torah of our Elohim, ye people of Amorah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, says Yahuwah? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts and I delight not in the blood of bullocks, or of lambs, or of he-goats. When ye come to appear before me, who has required this at your hand, to tread my courts? Bring no more an oblation of evil incense. It is an abomination to me. No longer proclaim the Shabbat, and the feasts, and the festivals. They are in vain. New moons and feasts are odious to my soul, and are the burden I weary of lifting. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourself. Make yourself clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, and let us reason together, says Yahuwah. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. How is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment. Righteousness lodged in it. But now, murderers. Your silver is become dross, 
your wine mixed with water. Your princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loves gifts and follows after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither does the cause of the widow come unto them. Therefore says Adonai Yahuwah Savaot, the mighty one of Yashadael, Ah, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies, and I will turn my hand upon you and purely purge away your dross and take away all your tin. And I will restore your judges as at the first and your counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, you shall be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Sion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converts with righteousness. And the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together. And they that forsake Yahuwah shall be consumed. For they shall be ashamed of the oaks which ye have desired. And ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen. For ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fades and as a garden that has no water. And the strong shall be, shall be as tow, and the maker of it as a spark, and they shall both burn together, and none shall quench them.